Hi everyone, this is Top 3D Shop, and in this video we will tell you about industrial and desktop SLS 3D printers, how they work, what they're capable of, and of course, which devices deserve special attention so that you can choose the best model for your demands. SLS 3D printing technology dates back to the 1980s. It was invented by Dr. Carl Deckard, at that time a student at the University of Texas, and his professor Dr. Joe Beeman. The first commercial printers based on this technology entered the market in 1992. They were meant for rapid prototyping, but soon the technology proved itself useful in a variety of different industries, such as healthcare, engineering, and consumer goods production, not to mention the rest. Now, SLS, or Selective Laser Sintering, is one of the most popular types of additive manufacturing, providing more and more opportunities both for businesses and customers. How do such printers work? Selective Laser Sintering, as the name suggests, uses a high-powered laser to heat the printing material, which is always in a powder form, to make a solid object. The powder is heated just to the point of sintering, not melting. To start printing, you need a CAD file or a 3D scan, which you'll export in a 3D printable file format, like OBJ or STL. Before the printing process commences, the printer preheats the build chamber, which should be filled with powder to the temperature just below the sintering point and printing begins. The powder is dispersed in a thin layer on the print bed, and the laser heats certain areas so that the powder sinters and forms the first solid layer of the future model. The print bed then goes down a bit and the process continues, layer after layer, until the job is done. Once your 3D model is complete, it needs to be cooled down and cleaned up from the remains of unfused powder at a cleaning station. Then it's for you to decide whether to use it right away or add some post-processing, like sandblasting or polishing. All SLS 3D printers' workflows seem to be pretty similar. They can differ in such parameters as the type and power of lasers employed, the build volume, and the types of compatible powders. Still, there is one main feature which allows dividing such machines into two main types. That is their size. First SLS printers were enormous, and even the smallest of them required no less than 10 square meters of installation size. Naturally, such devices couldn't be regarded as a home-use solution and remained the privilege of industrial companies until 2016, when the first benchtop SLS 3D printer hit the market. It wasn't small enough yet to be used at home, but was perfectly suitable for small businesses and prosumers. Since then, a decent number of desktop SLS printers have emerged in the market. Let's discuss the two types more specifically and compare the most noteworthy models in each class. Desktop SLS 3D printers are significantly smaller in size, a lot more affordable and user-friendly, and have smaller build volumes compared to their industrial analogs. In most cases, the operation of such machines doesn't require special skills, as the process is mainly automated. The Sinner at Lisa is one of the first and the most noticeable really compact SLS 3D printers in the market. Its dimensions are 650 by 550 by 400 millimeters. It can work with PA12 and TPE powders and is compatible with third-party manufacturers' materials. The Lisa produces highly detailed models with a minimum layer height of 75 microns, while its maximum print volume is 110 by 160 by 145 millimeters. A 4-inch touchscreen can be used to operate the device during the entire printing process, and the built-in camera allows watching the progress on the screen. The Sinner at Lisa offers the benefits of SLS 3D printing technology at an incredibly affordable price for an SLS-based printer. The Sinner at Lisa Pro is an upgraded version of the Lisa model, featuring a larger print volume of 110 by 160 by 245 millimeters. The Lisa Pro is equipped with a built-in gas supply system that injects nitrogen into the print chamber, thus creating a special environment inside the printer and expanding the range of materials that can be used. The Lisa Pro is compatible with nine powder types, including strong and chemical-resistant plastics, and allows you to employ materials produced by different manufacturers. The user can choose between buying a standalone printer or an end-to-end -end system, including the Sinneret Sieve powder handling solution and the Sinneret Sand Blaster cleaning station. The Sintratec kit is a unique product in the market of compact SLS 3D printers. Being a DIY solution, it's one of the most affordable SLS printers. The Sintratec kit allows printing with Nylon 12 and TPE. It's an open material system, which means you can use third-party printing powders. The device offers the maximum recommended print volume of 90 by 90 by 90 millimeters, and it's very compact and lightweight for an SLS printer. Being also rather compact for this type of 3D printer, the Formlabs Fuse 1 provides a maximum print size of 159 by 159 by 295 millimeters. 
The device features an enclosed build chamber equipped with a replaceable carbon HEPA filter, which ensures safe indoor operation. The build chamber is removable, so when the printing is over, you can move it to the post-processing station, thus avoiding spreading of unfused powder. The Fuse 1 utilizes a patented surface armor technology that prints a semi-centered shield around the surface of the part. This ensures the printed model to have decent mechanical properties and a fairly smooth surface. The Fuse 1 features a full-color touchscreen interface, which helps in operating the device. Industrial SLS 3D printers feature more spacious build volumes, but consequently, much larger footprint. They usually allow for the use of a wider range of printing powders, and such machines are considerably more expensive. The operation of these devices usually implies possessing certain skills. The Cinerate Niels 480 features industrial printing speed and a large build volume. Alongside such automated systems as continuous printing and automatic powder dispensing, which makes the Niels 480 one of the most cost-effective models in its class. The high print speed allows printing the full bed in less than 30 hours. The printer is compatible with a wide range of printing powders, including those produced by third-party manufacturers. Besides offering optimized profiles for all proprietary materials, the Niels 480 allows creating user profiles to achieve the best results with any material being used. The Sintratec S2 is quite compact for an industrial SLS 3D printer. Still, it has a large cylindrical build volume with the maximum print size of 130 by 360 mm. The S2 is a modular all-in-one solution, which consists of the laser sintering station, the material core unit, and the material handling station. The system is designed to automate the printing process and to reduce downtimes. The Sintratec S2 is equipped with an onboard 4K camera, enabling remote monitoring of the printing process, and a large operation touchscreen. The Farsoon Flight 403P features fiber light technology, which uses more powerful fiber lasers instead of carbon dioxide ones utilized in most industrial printers. This allows for extremely high printing speed. The system of the device is open, so you are free to use third-party consumables. The series includes two models, Flight SS403P and Flight HT403P. The difference between them lies in the maximum temperature, which is higher for the HT403P model, 190 and 220 degrees respectively. Due to the flight technology, the 403P series provides highly detailed prints in a short time, compared to its competitors. The TPM 3D S360 is a comprehensive solution for the company's flagship series. The printer is equipped with a 60-watt laser and boasts a large build volume of 360 by 360 by 600, capable of maintaining the heat of up to 160 degrees Celsius. In combination with the 230 degrees Celsius powder bed, the device can successfully work not only with standard but also engineering powders. The S360 comes with a removable build unit and a lift trolley to make post-processing easier and faster. By way of summing up, it should be noted that SLS is one of the most cost-effective 3D printing technologies, as it allows full loading of the build chamber to print numerous parts at a time, so it is widely used for small batch manufacturing. Due to a vast variety of printing materials, SLS is capable of producing highly accurate, durable, complex models with almost any properties required. But it's not only businesses that benefit from the invention of SLS. Thanks to the rapid development of the technology, over the past few years, SLS printers have become much more compact and affordable compared to the first machines. So customers consider purchasing one more and more often. This is Top 3D Shop with the overview of the best SLS 3D printers. Subscribe to our channel, leave comments, and hit the like button if you've enjoyed the video. See you soon!